Well, good morning, YouTube. Look at this. Sunday, the 1st of March, and we have a bit of blue sky. So we're heading out this morning, going to have a bit of breakfast, meeting up with Viper and Motorway. So the VFR is going to meet the Triumph Tiger. So it's been quite some time since we've had a bit of blue sky recently and the first time I've been out on the VFR on dry roads. Right, let's go meet the boys. Went out for a few drinks last night with a good old friend, Dimp. Here's a little shout out for you, Dimp, with a little picture of you. And the thing with Dimp is we don't get to see each other that often, but I found out last night Dimp watches all of our videos. So we was having a drink last night and he was telling me about the videos, what happened in the videos, so nice one Dimp, thanks for watching mate. And all I can say for Dimp is there's one word. He'll know what it means. Dead prez. Move along, move along. Oh, I'll tell you what, she feels nice on corners. Oh, lovely jubbly. Well, so we're heading over to the Navigator Pub. We've been there before. It's at Arpenny Green Airport, little private airport. They've got a lovely little calf just underneath the control tower. So, we might have a guest appearance today as well. And Mr. Sean Lacey. One of our subscribers is not too far away from us this morning and he said if he can get out of his meeting he's going to come and meet us. No recording first thing this morning from Motorway because I've got his memory card from when we went camping so he won't have any footage until we meet up with him. And um, he got his tent replaced, contacted the sellers on eBay, sent him a few photos of how it ripped in the, the gale force winds we had of four miles an hour. But um, that was very good. They refunded him the money, told him to keep the tent. But to be honest with you, the tent's good for nothing. It was a crap tent, so. But I believe he's now looking at a Coleman, one of these self-erected tents. Um, I've got to say, they do look, they do look a cracking tent. I wouldn't mind one myself. You don't have to put no poles in, um, it just pops out the bag. And you unfold it. The only problem is with it though, there's no porch. And there's no inner skin. It is just a one skin tent, but... You know, it is ideal for when we do our one night camping. Which brings me on to... Another thing. So, on the 29th of August, we have another little tour booked. We are going to be doing Lake Vernway and Bella Lake. And we are doing a one night camping. I can't remember where it is, the campsite, but I'll, I'll pull a little link up now or a picture or something of the campsite. And I'm going to do like a little uh, tour around Lake Vernway. So it is the August bank holiday weekend. And the main problem we've had is a lot of campsites won't accept a one night booking for a bank holiday. They want a minimum of three nights. So I found a Facebook group called Camping in Wales or Welsh Camping, something like that. And I put a little post on there saying, does anybody know? Anybody who's got a little farm or anybody with some land or they do with the other campsite? And I had some great, great feedback from it, quite a few people. There's not many pitches available on this campsite, so if any of you want to come, you're more than welcome. I'll put the link up, just get yourself booked in. It's £12.50 a night. And I think all you pay at the moment is £1.88 deposit. And then they take the rest, uh, I believe, the 30th, 30th of July. 
So hopefully we should have some decent weather then. The rule is though normally the August bank holiday is normally rubbish weather but you know, I've got a feeling this year it's going to be a good one for us. And there is another camping trip uh, on the 19th of September by Griffin Jones. Um, now I know Ray was talking on the last video about where it is. And I apologise Ray, I can't remember where you said it is. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just put a little clip here. I'm going to insert Griffin Jones's video here. So you can just listen to Ray, he'll tell you about the camping, where it is. And if any of you want to join that up north, I'll have a little camping expedition with them. Unfortunately I can't, that's my son's birthday, the 19th of September. So I'll hand you now over to the Griff and the Jones. I'll talk about um, a meet and greet for September. It'll be the 19th of September and it'll be in Kettlewell. That's in, uh, I think, the Yorkshire Dales. I'll put a picture up of the campsite now. It's also got a private field. private field is £250 to hire for the night and it holds up a uh, well, minimum of 30 people would be, would be right. Um, I'm not really sure that we'll, enough people will be interested but if you are I'll give uh, an email at the bottom to, to tell me if you're interested or not. The campsite itself, if you try and book it online it'll give you only for two nights. I'll most likely book two nights. If you want one night you might have to phone and see if they can uh, book you in for just the one night. At the same time Kettlewell itself has quite a lot of alternative accommodation and it ranges from a hostel, a youth hostel, through to a whole house. So people can pretty much pick and choose what it is that they want. I'm thinking of meeting at a place called Roosters and I'll put a picture up of that here. They do a really big breakfast, literally massive. From there I was thinking of riding out to a place called Alston, then heading south to Halls by the Butter Tubs Pass then head east from Hawes and then down south to Kettlewell. The next day, I was thinking of heading out from Kettlewell and going west over the moors. It's a single track road and I can't check the entire length. The reason I chose to go this from Kettlewell way is if it turns out it's got gravel or anything like that that I don't want to ride on, it's easy enough to turn around and take an alternative route. We go across the moors and we'll head back up to Penrith at Roosters and stop for lunch or tea or whatever time it is we get there. And then everybody goes their separate ways. That's a bit dangerous. It's a good job it won't wet. A road sign in the middle of the road. Lucky enough, I was a bit cautious about what that learner was doing, so I did slow down quite a bit. Good job, actually. And I hope my audio is working better today. I seem to have uh, an intermittent crackling with the microphone lead, and I can't... I can't find the source of what's doing it. So I've wiggled the wires around this morning. Well, let's see if it's any better. Obviously, I'm not going to know till I edit this video whether the audio is any better. And you'll never, ever, ever guess that Maverick, for once, is early. I'm not on time. I'm not late. I am early. And that was one thing uh, Dimp did mention last night, actually. He did mention. He did pick up and tune into the amount of times I'm late. Morning, YouTube. It's a lovely morning, it's actually brighter than this earlier, but it's um, 
clouded over a bit, but it's quite nice and warm. Four degrees according to this. But actually, it doesn't feel too bad at all. It's dry, it's bright. What could you ask for? So I'm just going over to Hagley to meet Maverick and Motorway. Because we're off for breakfast at Hapley Green Airport Cafe which is actually only a few miles away from where I live but there's no point going straight there I might as well go the long way around you'll notice there's a yellow light on the dash we've had that checked it's got a dodgy oxygen sensor which has been ordered yeah, I've just got to arrange for that to be fitted so the other thing I've done since I last picked up the bike is I've dropped the seat to the um, low seat height just to see what it's like whether I'm going to put it back up again to the uh, to the high one because I'm a lanky bugger but actually it's not too bad you do feel like you're sitting sitting in the bike a little bit more rather than on top of it I did, have a, I did have a CCM Supermoto once and I bought it and I loved it and then I realised that they, um, they did two models, a low and a, and a normal and I picked the bloody low one so I ended up buying a new set of long white power forks and a white power rear shock We had to extend the stand slightly to make it stand nicely when it was uh, parked up. When we did that, we uh, cut the stand, cut the stand, turned up a little space to slide in between the two bits, welded it back together, sprayed it up. Wouldn't have made any difference, and that made a great difference to the weight of the bike. Proper supermoto having. Both sides stretched his legs up to that point. Took me by surprise. <clears throat> well, she is looking good, a little bit dirty. I've took the panniers off because there's no point having them when uh, or carrying them around when I don't need to. Left the top box on, carry me sandwiches. God, it's filthy. I do like her though. I do like her. Well, we are here. This is known as our departure lounge number two. This one is called the Goose Puncher petrol station because this is where Goose had his puncher. Here he is, Mr. Viper himself. Mavericks here, looking sexy. Uh, uh, uh. Dude! How you doing, mate? How you doing, mate? How's it going? Let's have a look at the baby then. Right, let me just turn this off. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to need to reconnect your car though to me. I'm going to need to reconnect. I did a factory update, on, basically I erased it and sent it back to factory standard.
So here we are, Mr. Sean Lacey has met us today. Yep. And he's a pretty up, so he's coming for a bit of breakfast with us. This my case of mug of tea. I'll tell you what though, with my head, I need this breakfast. Oh jeez. <laughs> Soak it up a bit. Oh. I had a few Pringles this morning. You want me to lead then? I'll lead us back yeah. to um, Wombun and we'll go from there. Oh. Go on Vic, I'll go at the back, I'll get you all on camera. Which way are we turning out? Which way that are you going? Way. That way. That way. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll go third then, yeah? Yeah. You are Craig. Yep. Wait for these donkeys to go. Yeah, it's not very often they get to go at the back. Nah. So we get it's a not, nicer. It's not very often the old sun visor goes down. I know, it? I know. I think the last time that was in action was um, Ellen Valley. Yeah. Oh no, uh, Studley Castle. Oh yeah, Studley Castle. Yeah, that was right. That was a nice day again as well, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah. Right, yeah. Best day we've had, wasn't it, until today? Yeah. You know, I thought that Aprilia was, was bigger than a 750 when I first yeah. saw it. So it looks a, looks a big gold, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, here we go. Yeah. So did you have a good night's sleep, Vic, when you got home after camping? <laughs> <laughs> I did, yeah. <laughs> I got into my bed, I thought, oh, this is heaven. <laughs> I'm glad we did it, though. Wish I'd bought a better tent in the first place. But that was the whole idea of it, wasn't it? Yeah, it's, so it yeah, served its purpose, yeah. yeah. You, have a, you have a practice one. Yeah, that's right. I know the next tent will be good. I've watched all the reviews, videos yeah. on it. they got a good name, haven't they, Coleman? Yeah, yeah Coleman's a good brand. Yeah. It does the, oh, uh, I forgot we were all three linked up, yeah. This yeah. is a novelty. <laughs> but yeah, I like the ones, uh, what you put, Steve, Kaiman, Kaiman is it? Kai yeah, Kayam. Kayam. They yeah. do, oh, yeah. they're, they're quick erect, all the poles stay in there and yeah. they're like hinged so you can move them apart. That was what my um, awning was on the bongo, it was brilliant. Uh, it was a brilliant tent, but it was like, it was like four times the price of the Coleman. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to pay silly money. You don't need to, do you? I said, it's only if I'll be able to do like a week's camping. Yeah, well, that's it. So it'll be odd nights here and yeah, there, isn't it? That's it. And I mean, like, when we do like the longer tours, like you normally do, I said, you just find somewhere to rent. Yeah, that's right, yeah. I'm glad we haven't got to carry all the tack to Normandy with us. Oh, yeah, exactly, yeah. I said, all you got to take is clothes. That's all we need. Yeah, I'm only going to take my top box, that's all. Yeah. It's a bloody tall bike Steve's got, isn't it? Bloody yeah, up. it's a big one, isn't it? Yeah, it'd be no good for people like me and you. But say that though, I mean, when you look at it now with Steve on it, it don't look that big. No, because he's tall though, isn't it? Yeah. That's right. Lanky. <laughs> you said it, Steve, I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> but I've got to say, I do like that colour, the blue. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful nice colour. Yeah. Right, we're going left here and then immediate right. Uh, okay. Left then right, okay. Oh, I've never been up this way before, Steve. Yeah, this cuts you over to um, the road to Kidderminster from Wally. Yeah, I wouldn't have a clue this way. Uh, it's, it's the same road that goes to um, Wolverley. Oh, but right, if, you, okay. if you turn left at the end, it goes to Wolverley. These cardos are good how they go silent when you're not talking, yeah. isn't it? There's no noise in between sort of thing. Because I think yeah. that one Sean's got on, that's the, them are the ones, that looks like the ones we had. Oh, yeah. I, th I think that was about 60 quid for two. But, you know, they did the job, it worked. Yeah. There's quite a few signed up for this uh, Burnley tour now, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, I had, um, they emailed me back last night to the campsite, didn't they? I said, yeah, that one night's fine. It's what, so one night's fine? Yeah, because a lot of campsites, uh, yeah. they wouldn't do it. So uh, they don't call the weekend, it's got to be three nights. Yeah. Anyway, they're happy with one, are they? Yep, yep, completely fine. Uh, good, good. Yeah, I thought I'd better go on with it yesterday, because I thought, yeah. Christ, there's not many spaces. But, uh, well, saying that, though, 
in the email that I said, we'll update it to take us to our more fridges. Yeah. So, I said we just well, need to put all, we need put all the fridges online to book. Yeah, I thought for the cost of it, might as well get it done. Yeah. Not I, don't, I haven't even, I haven't had a chance to have a look yet. So there's quite a few going to the Ellen Valley who've got packed talks. So yeah. That, I mean, oh my God, if we've got 15 talking, Jesus. Oh no, no, it's going to be a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> Keeping all together as well, like you say, yeah. it's junctions, isn't it? Well, that's where it'll come in handy. At least we could say, well, well, I need someone then behind, you know what I mean? Yeah. When we uh, when we go to Normandy, have we all got pack talks there? Uh, Steve Clark has, uh, uh, I believe Pablo has, uh, Stuart Thorpe has. I think it's just Iron Biker. But he said he was on about getting one, but I don't know he whether could, he will. Or... He could really use one, couldn't he, yeah. for then? Because that was a problem we had in the Isle of Wight. He's connecting just mine to his. It just cancelled everybody out. Yeah. And plus it cancelled out the audio on his GoPro. So we had no sound. Yeah. When we leave the calf, I'll probably go home the other way like yeah. I did last time. Because you'll be going off to the right <laughs> when you're at the gate. Yeah. I'll go left and come back down. It's got colder again. It's dropped to one degree according to my... Um... <laughs> Oh, I'm showing six, six degrees. I'm showing up. Where is it? I wouldn't have thought it was one. Well, I don't, I don't think it's one. I've got to say, so far though, I haven't felt I needed heated grips on this. No. no. So I was going to buy them, but I don't think I need them. I might be looking at the wrong thing. Oh no, that's my gears. <laughs> is that your gears? <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't. I need to work out where the temperature <laughs> gauge is. <laughs> well, at least you've got a temperature gauge, I am. Yeah, because I'm bound, I can flick between outside air temperature, engine temperature and yeah. co coolant temperature. Oh, yeah, right. mine's got, it's got a temperature gauge for the coolant, but, and I thought it had a temperature gauge for the, um, I'll have to play around with the buttons. Ken's got a temperature gauge on that MT-07, you know. Does he? I have got one on here. Have you got a fuel gauge on yours, Vic? Got a what? A fuel gauge. Oh yeah, I've got a fuel yeah. gauge, yeah. Yeah, it's just an indicator and it just to get an idea of your fuel. That was yeah. the other thing with a blade. I had to watch how many miles I was doing to work it out. Yeah, gooses like that, I think, it yeah. don't work, does it? Yeah, it used to work and all of a sudden it's not working. Yeah, I thought goose would have been along today as he got plans for the day, hadn't he? Yeah, I know he said, I know he said he got stuff on. Whether he's, I said, he's probably decorated next door's house now. <laughs> he loves it, doesn't he? Uh, yeah, yeah, got much choice, mate. No, because this was my Mrs. idea, this was. Yeah. Because I said, I'm going to uh, meet uh, Steve, just have a look at his bike. We're going to have a coffee at McDonald's in Dudley. Yeah. And I said, well, the kids are at my mum's over. And I said, why don't you just go for a ride? And I thought, oh, <laughs> you don't have to ask yeah. me twice. <laughs> yeah, they're magic words. Uh, <laughs> I watched the video last night, the camping video. Ah, it was alright. Yeah. That, that heater was brilliant. That camper yeah. heater. Yeah, I'm going to get me one of them. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. And the good thing was, there was a little plunge underneath, so if it falls over, it switches off. Swindon! That's where we stopped on the way to Wild White, were not it? Yeah. I don't think, I don't think <laughs> we'd come that far. What, is that a mutt? Yeah, it's a mutt, that is. I like it. Hey. You know that Steve Clark interview? Yeah. I was really incredible when he said about his lad, the tyres had been put on the wrong yeah. way around. Oh, oh, no, that's bad, isn't it? How bad was Jesus. that? Jesus. Good God. I've never considered that before on a yeah. bike, no. Because if you look on your wheel, there's an arrow on the wheel showing you the direction the wheel has to go on. Whoever fitted those tyres, yeah. they ought to be held accountable somehow, wouldn't they? Yeah. The hell? That's terrible. You know when I'm editing your footage, Steve, is this the route you come? Yeah. So I'll come down here, down the side of that canal there. I normally cycle down there up to the navigation, which is a bit further on by them traffic lights, uh. which is about seven and a half mile round trip. So I'll cycle there, have a couple of pints, cycle back again. Are you still going to put those bar risers on, you Yeah, yeah, I've ordered them. They should be here tomorrow. And how much difference will that make? I think it adds an inch and a quarter. Oh. Which, you know, you think, oh, well, they ain't going to make that much of a difference. But... No, but the thing is, compared to your blade, you're already oh, comfier. Yeah. So another inch and a quarter yeah. on top of what you've already got. 
talking to some people on the VFR Facebook group, they were saying that the difference it makes. So yeah. it's quite surprising, actually. All that suffering you did. I tell you what, it's a good job you're riding to Portsmouth on that, isn't it? Now. Oh my God! Oh. Now, now you've tried something come for you. So I've been watching. I'm watching Sean oh, riding because yeah. obviously he's doing his advanced motorcycling. Yeah. So I'm just trying to see like what he's, you know, obviously what his road position's like. Yeah. Perhaps he might he might criticise us when we stop. <laughs> <laughs> you were doing this. You were doing yeah. that. You were going too far. <laughs> Sean, when you watch this back, mate, anything we did wrong, it was Steve's fault. Yeah. He was leading. Yeah, so, that's right. Whatever. I take all, full responsibility. Yeah. yeah. If we were all doing it wrong, we wouldn't normally have ridden like this, and if uh. we're doing it right, this is, we always ride like this. <laughs> right, watch, there's a bit of gravel on there. Okay. Oh, road closed ahead due to flooding. Oh, ah, let's right. see how far it is. Last time we come down here, it was, um, we had to go through a ford or something, don't we? Yeah. Well, you've got the bike for it, Steve. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, get us some bloody cup of tea, Steve, and bring it out. <laughs> uh, here we go. Isn't that beat? Uh, it was like this before, when we come. Jam through back. the middle. Come on, then. You watch Steve just drop now. <laughs> The trouble is you can't see if there's any big potholes, that's the <laughs> thing, isn't it? If you your revved up, you're alright. I follow them and they ain't got there in a pothole. Ah, oh, oh, clean the, the, the bike this week, bloody hell. Oh, no. I did not mind, did all the ICF 50 on it. We've just got to see now whether the cafe's open. All through. Yeah. Yep, all through. I'm hoping yeah. the cat's actually open. I won't go through that flood on the way home unless there's any that way. It's, uh, I'll be going that way down well, there. There's loads of people here, so they've obviously got here somehow. Uh, we might as well stick it next to these bikes, to be honest. Yeah. Have you bike a wash, Steve? I oh, know. Got a wet foot and all. <laughs> oh dear. There's another wash this week. There's another wash now. <laughs> Look at the state of that now. Oh no. I thought today, I thought, oh, the bike will stay clean today. Like hell. Right. Let's go and get some brekkie. I'm going to force myself now not to not to eat fried food. I'm going to just have a mug of tea. I'm, not, I'm having a full English. Starving. I'll, I've got a bloody cooked dinner when I get home. We had a nice breakfast, courtesy of Mr. Sean Lacey. So thank you, sir. Victor had a nice cup of tea. See you later. I'll wait. I'll wait at the gate, and then I'll um, I'll lead if you want. Well then. Good day. See you soon. Oh, just down here. We're going down here, Watery Lane. See you later, Vic. Down here. See you, Vic. See you later, mate. Yeah, so I'll, to, I'll go right here. Are you going up through? Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, I'll go this way. So. Alright then, see you later. Right well, then. See you later. There we go, a nice little bit of breakfast run. Thank you, Mr. Lacey, for breakfast. You shouldn't have done it, mate. There's no need for you to boss breakfast. 
it was very kind of you. Thank you kindly, sir. Very nice breakfast as well. And a lovely morning for the 1st of March. What a nice morning. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.